Hello everyone and welcome back to A Plague Tale Requiem. In the last session we escaped from the island but the Count followed in pursuit, took Hugo from us and in the ensuing battle both the Count and Arno were killed. And we have arrived now at the city as it got utterly obliterated by just the most amount of rats we have ever seen. And we need to go and find Hugo and see if we can put a stop to this. Chapter 16, King Hugo. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that sounds like, yeah. They really look like an army. They are. Now that Hugo has become their leader. It was always his favorite game. Conquering. Well, someone's dream came true. Man, that's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> oh, God. Hey. Look who survived. Oh, hey. A carnation. It's the first flower Hugo offered me. Just before we met you, Lucas. Oh. Makes me feel old. That flower is sure to put a smile on his face. There it is, the final one. The origins of the flower of the gods may reach back to antiquity. The Greeks used to offer corone, the flower garlands, at coronation ceremonies, and the Romans rewarded athletes with Jupiter's flowers for outstanding performances. In Christian legends, Marie's tears turned into pink carnations as she was mourning her son, and carnis would refer to the flesh of the Christ. Their bouquets, symbols of purity and gratitude, once honoured the love of a mother. That's the last one. Yes. This has got to be the end of the game then. This has got to be the final chapter, I think. I wonder if, because that one, normally they're quite hidden, but that one was just like, here it is, in your path. I wonder if we're going to use this carnation to get through to him at the end. Whether it'll be like a, remember this, come back to us kind of moment. Oh my god, what? What is that? That was not what I was expecting to see. <laughs> He's one with the macula now. So we're really going in there? I'm sorry. That's all right. I had enough fun, I guess. And my boat is wrecked anyway. Just tell me we can stop this. If we can get to him, maybe. But it'll be a deep dive. Listen, I'll go. I'm the one that- Alicia. Who we need whatever connects him to this world. And we're all tied to him. So... So let's dive. Lucas? Where's Lucas? Is it broken? No, no, no. It's just... Are you alright? Sophia's hurt! I'll try to join you! Don't move! I told you, I'm not made f for land. Uh, not for landing, that's for sure. Sorry. Don't be. You've done more than enough. Lucas and I, we've been through this before, sort of. Not quite to this extent, but yeah. <laughs> Not all legends need sailors, huh? That's sad. 
go and come back with him. I'll see you under the sun. Man. Keep going. Hugo's close. Need to find Lucas fast. Feel better going soon. Anywhere, Amicia. We'll come back for you. I know. Go, go. Feel better soon, dude. Anything behind here? Nope. Well, here we go. This looks insane. I don't I I don't know what I was expecting exactly, but this was not it. <laughs> hey buddy. And Sophia? She can't walk! It's only the two of us now! We can still do this. You see that piece of wall standing below? The rats are going around them. Let's be there. Yes! But wait, wait! One mistake and I know. But I've been counting. And they keep the exact same pacing. We can make it between two waves. Alright! Ready when you are. Don't worry. I'll keep up with you. Okay. Well. This is terrifying. <laughs> Go. No. go! Go, 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 go! Fucking book it! Fucking book it! Run, run. Ah. Holy oh. shit. Come on. Uh. Yes. Let's keep running to the standing walls. Hide, wait, and repeat. Okay, it looks like they don't go... Yes. Oh no, they do Lead go the through that. Uh... All right. Where next then? If they do go through that gate... Where's the next place to hide? Uh Oh, down there? Probably there, I guess. I mean, hard to tell. But if it's not this, then I don't know what the fuck it is. Okay, it is that. Uh, and then is that corner safe? Like, they burst through the gate, but maybe that corner's safe? Yeah, that corner's safe. Okay. Wait, how do we get the gate open? I think so. Or is now it gonna? Come on, do it. Is it gonna burst open? Yeah. Go 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 go. Uh oh uh oh uh oh. Bloody hell! Please hold. Oh shit! With you. Okay, these walls are collapsing now. We have no time to think. Lucas, the rope. I see it. This is nuts. This is absolutely insane. Oh, my heart. It will hold. Free moving. Right. My goodness gracious me! Wow! Okay, we made it. We made it. Yes. What now, though? Like, what? Where's the land? It's just nothingness ahead. For how long? He's there, Lucas. He's in reach. Yes. Wow. I mean... Just get a load of that. <laughs> wow. What a, what a look. What a fucking moody, vibey sight. Look at you. 
hiding under a blanket, just like when you're sad. The nebula's condensing around him. So much must be going on in there. What should we expect to find? Hard to tell. Think of it as a giant crucible where the, the macula Hugo and the nebula are emerging. The visions of a deceived child dissolving into the atmosphere, changing the world. This is the last threshold. All natural laws stop here. So we must cross it too? To reach your brother, yes. Right. Well, here goes nothing. Take a deep breath. How did we get separated? We were like we went down right next to each other. Lucas! <laughs> How's that possible? Lucas! Where are you? <laughs> oh, uh, my head oh, spinning. Oh. Focus. You go first. Uh, find him. Okay. I'm surprised there's not rats everywhere down here. Coming over the hill, Can't is be. it a monster? Oh my god, it's another one of these? <laughs> what? That's a big one. Another one? What's going on? What's going on? What is this place? The phoenixes, they meant something. They meant they the order. The they must lead to him. Okay, these are getting huge now. <laughs> Am I losing my mind? Hugo, are you doing this? All natural laws stop here. Hang on to that. I wonder what happens if we, like, didn't follow the path here. Did you put them here, Hugo? No. You did. Hugo! Oh, thank the Lord! Where are you? I'm here. I'm close. I can't see you! Because you're still looking back. Those birds are the only thing here! They're showing the way, aren't they? We tried that way, Amicia. And it was a lie. Not entirely. There, there was truth in it. It was a lie, and it brought death. People brought death. Hugo, I need a way to get you out of here. You need new ways. Things have changed, but you're still thinking as if they haven't. I'm, I'm trying. Think, Amicia. He's somewhere around. Am I, am I supposed to not follow them? Am I supposed to go the opposite way? New ways. Yes, 
That's it, I think. I'll keep going. Okay. What's happening to me? I feel... I know you're lost and scared, but I'm with you. I'll do whatever it takes. I want to see you. Whoa, what the fuck is this? What is that? Hugo, where am I? Bruh. Do anything with this? You're still just goddamn rats! I'll burn you all! You want me to run away? I'll get you back! You hear me? I've seen you fight so many times. Don't worry, I'll get them! You still won't back down, will you? It's up for them! I have no choice! You have a choice, but it scares you. Yeah, this is a lot. I don't know if we can keep them all away. But I do. But it hurts to see you fight like that. Like what? Like before. And each battle mattered. They still matter. They do. Stop coming. They won't. Stop trying to be so tough. You might learn something. But you remember it. I need to be tough. I can't break. You will break. You must break. Huh. Oh, no, no! What? What happened? What did happen? I'm back. I went back. Hugo, what did I do? You're stuck in your head. It's hard to move forward when you're scared. I know. It's all right. You will do it. I will. I'll do it again. I'll learn. So am I like, am I not supposed to fight it them? It must work the same way. I need to go back there. I think I'm not supposed to fight them or something? Way out. I need that way out. Far from those birds. Okay, I need to Keep go a straight line. away. I think I'm just supposed to not fight. Wait, but this is... What? I'm walking away from the bird and I'm still reaching another bird. Right, directly away from the bird. There's more birds! <laughs> what? I don't understand. How am I supposed to get out of here if- I need to get out of this damn loop! Do, do I have to get to a certain point along the bird path and then go backwards? Here maybe? Here seems right. That's it! Oh, you're doing it! You're learning! Oh, hang on! Hang on! Oh, those things are close! Do better this time! Get this right! Okay. You won't stop them! You've got to be sharper! So, what do I do? Do I just leave or walk into the rats or something? I don't get what it's asking me to do. No! The bloody phoenixes again! Oh, I think, god damn it! What are you doing? Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not easy, that's all. But you see clearer now. You've learned. Yes! I'll finish this! I know. I really don't get what it's asking me to do there. Come on! 
I need to go back. Oh, come on. She says the brazier is not the answer, but there isn't anything else to interact with. So the only other thing we could do would be to let ourselves die, but that's a fail state. You won't get me again. I'm getting to him. I'm getting him back. I'm on my way. The fact that this transition takes fucking ages is kind of annoying as well. Like, just, just let me try again. All right. Stop making the same mistake. Right. I don't have anything else, so my only options: extinguish. Do I put the fire out? End this fight. I get it. Okay. This is pointless. I surrender. I'm tired of all this. Too tired to fight. Please, I need to see you. I'm proud of you. Where, where are you? Hi. I'm here. You go. Come, come. <laughs> I thought I'd never see you again. Me too. I was so scared. But you've done it. Can you walk? Yes. Oh, do you know how to get out of here? Yes. Come. Oh, let's go. Let's uh, leave this hell. I feel like One way or another. either he's not you, real or... I thought you were dead. I really did. I know. I felt like I was all alone. Is this actually Hugo? So I made a mistake. Hugo, we tried all we could. But it's a big mistake. So many people are dying right now. I can feel it. And it's just the beginning. Let's just get out of here. We can make it stop. We'll find Mother's house. And live. Really live. But... We've earned it. This place feels familiar. The way out is at the very end. Hello. Can I do something for you? Hello. We met already. Uh, hey, what's going on with you? It's the boy. He killed her. I'm sorry. Killed her? What the hell? What's going on? She's right. I'm doing this. How? I see no rats. These are the people at the camp we ran through. It's what I've become. Let's not stay here. Come. Or snuck we through for the most part. We will find a solution, but first we must get out of here. Yes. Look at them. Sorry, lads. I loved this place. And these people. You have to stop this. I can't. Just focus. You did it before. Have you already forgotten? It's a lie. It's the macula playing tricks. I am the macula now. I am. What? No. You know it could happen. It's too late. No, no, no. I let the macula take all of me. Now this is what happens. I... I know. We must do something. We must stop people from dying. What can we do at this point? It will stop. Hugo, can it stop? I'm eating with Amicia. Not just them, but all the others. And even more as the rats spread. So this is the end? Not completely. We have one chance. The last one. Tell me. I'll do anything. I think you know already. I... You must stop me. Damn, do we have to kill Hugo? To Surely stop not. Vernacular. Hugo, you can't ask me that. You're the only one who can stop me from becoming a monster. You're not a monster. I will be. If I kill all I love. All these nice things you showed me. I understand, but. Please, Amicia. I. I'll try. Alright. What now? Hugo, where are you? 
Where are you? I'm sorry, but you're ready now. To save everything. Ready? How can I be ready for this? I know, but I can't stop myself now. Only you can stop me. Hugo! I love you. I've been happy with you. Goodbye, Amicia. I love you. I love you so much. Oh boy. Is this actually happening? When you're gone, there'll be nothing else. Yeah, I don't know how oh, Amicia's gonna alone. survive without you, man. <laughs> All alone. We both need each other. Hey! Lucas... <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Can you stand up? Yes. He's there. Yes. Do you know what you have to do? Yes. My goodness. Look at that. That's insane. this oh <laughs> we don't oh no really are we actually doing this oh Hugo I'm so sorry See you, man. <laughs> wow! Really? Really? That's how it ends? Okay. Guess there's not going to be a Plague Tale 3 then.
Wow, that's brutal! Oh my god! That's so sad! Oh my goodness! I can't believe... I can't believe that is... where the story goes. I would not expect that at all. I was expecting, you know, similar to the first game, like, there'd be a villain, there'd be a, a thing to overcome. In this case, it eventually seemed like it was the Count. And we'd overcome that challenge, and there'd be, obviously, we'd learn some more about the rats and stuff, but I assumed it was going to end on a pretty positive, like, you know, we've overcome the adversity once again, and we're trying to keep Hugo under control, and see you in Plague Tale 3 was what I was kind of thinking. But, uh, no. Wait, what? The same person played Sophia and the Countess? I could not tell that at all. And Arno, Vordin, Joseph, Count, Victor, and Random Soldiers was all the same dude as well? Wait, Hugo and Lucas was the same voice actor? What? The same person does Hugo and Lucas? That's insane. They sound so different. Wow. Well done. Massive well done to them. That's some crazy good voice acting. Holy shit. I can't believe that. That's brutal. That is such a brutal ending. Big thank you to all of Sobo Studio and our family members for their support during the development of the main. Man. What a... Uh, the fucking massive balls that a Sobo have. Shout out to a Sobo. That takes enormous balls to do that. That's crazy. Oh, there's one more. Chapter 17, Legacy of Darun Family. I think the very first chapter of Innocence was called The Darun Legacy, right? And now this is Legacy of the Darun Family, so it's like bookended. One year later. It's like bookended with these two very similar chapter titles. So yeah, it's definitely not going to be a Plague Tale 3 then. Very different haircut. Fully shaved down. Amicia's living a new life. Wow. Wow, they just, they actually went for it. They actually did it. They actually just went, we're not going to make this a long-term long-running, ongoing series. We're going to cut it off here. This is our story, and this is the end of it. The fucking... I, I give them massive props for that. I, I bet that not a single person went into this expecting that to be the way it played out. Seems like she's found a life for herself in the mountains. This is her mum's house, I guess, that they were talking about going to. Is Lucas here? Feels higher each time. <laughs> oh, Sophia's here. Oh, Sophia. Yay! You came! Of course. I wouldn't miss this. Careful, I smell like a goat. Well, then welcome to your land, goat. How do you feel? Are you ready? I guess so. No point in wasting time, then. Wait! Okay, well, let's get go. to the horses. As you wish. I left the horses up there. So, what have you been up to these last months? Walking, fixing the house, trying to exhaust myself. Does it work? It's better, yes. Good. You had me pretty worried, you know. I'm fine, Sophia. It's been a year. <laughs> Already? And how's the business going? Good. Doing more legal trading these days. Oh, what happened? Well, I just want to live longer. Really? <laughs> I like a quiet sea better than a storm. Speaking of which, we'll depart tomorrow. Great. Great. Is our alchemist coming? Lucas. 
Oh no, he's still on the road, studying ah, okay. all by himself. They grow up so fast. So we have he been here us. alone for the most part. Man, Ooh. that's crazy. Getting chilly. Let's pick up the pace a bit. That is actually phenomenal. I'm I'm stunned by just how ballsy a move that was. <laughs> so, do you know where we can put you ashore? Not yet. But I think I'll know when I come across the signs. Of the macula? Yes. It leaves marks on things and people. I think I can find where the next carrier and protector will rise. The next plague. I want to set the path for them, like Aelia did hmm. for us. No use telling you just a rest, then. None. Fine. Okay, that almost sounds like that is set up for a oh, future Plague Tale game. It smells so good. And the quiet. Yes. I'll miss it. But it might just be like, this is what she's going to do in the future, and that's the end. So we just at least have a hint of her life going forward. Trying to protect more, trying to get there earlier in the process, I guess. Oh, getting there. Hey, horsies. Boys, this is Amicia. Be kind to her. It's a special day. Hi. some time I have one last thing to do take as much as you want my back still hurts from the road no storm coming you're the only one I see <laughs> it won't take too long if I had to guess I'd say that she's got a grave for Hugo she wants to visit it's going to be all right reach the summit okay is that could well have I don't know if she'd be able to have taken his body out of there, but at least a memorial. Uh, not down there. Up here. The sea will look so flat compared to this. Wow, this is gorgeous. This whole game has been gorgeous. <laughs> Continues to be gorgeous. Jimmy. Man, history really did repeat itself, huh? Like the one we were learning about. Basilius and Aelia. Basilius was taken away from Aelia and Aelia couldn't reach him in time. And Basilius died. And it's, it's basically the exact same here. Hugo was taken away from Amicia. It's me. We couldn't reach her in time. We couldn't reach him in time. And the only difference is we were the ones who killed him this time. But like he was, it was because he was already too far gone. This is a little memorial. Hey. 
Hey. They didn't used to come here before. I always knew you'd be good at making friends. Damn, that's what the flower was for, to rest at his grave? Oh, man. Here was me going like, oh, I wonder if that's, uh, wonder if we're going to use that flower to get sure food to him. I was ready, but Sophia's here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why is it so hard? <laughs> we never backed down, right? We held. May this earth remember how much you loved it. May it remember all you gave to protect it. I remember. My god, what an ending! That is one of the strongest endings to a game I've seen in ages. That was brutal, brilliant, didn't pull any punches. I, I cannot believe. <laughs> I'm just so, I'm so shocked that that is where the story went. I love it. Like, fucking hell yeah. Just brutalize my emotions, why don't you? But like, is I guess I guess I'm so used to like standard storytelling, right? Where like the standard storytelling, usually not all the time. Obviously, there are times that it doesn't happen. But standard storytelling, usually, the heroes, you know, side characters can die, but the main hero or heroes generally survive the end. You know, re they get redeemed or they get saved or you know it comes down to the big moment and you're able to you know pull them out. She's able to pull Hugo out and get out of there somehow and live to fight another day and I'm so used to that being the case that like the question of whether or not she would actually be able to save him never even entered my mind until we were right there like getting the sling out basically like even when even before that like near the end when he was talking to us and saying you know what you've got to do you've got to kill us I was still like yeah but she's not going to <laughs> I was still like there's no way she's gonna actually do that though right like it, it's it's sensible like that is probably the way to a way to save him but I was like surely she's gonna like refuse and pull him out and maybe try and find another way or something but they just they actually went for it I, I'm I'm very 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 happy that they they went for it and just like yeah it just feels like something I haven't seen before you know this whole game a lot of well not this whole game a lot of the game felt like stuff I haven't seen before but that in particular that story beat at the end there brilliant brilliant stuff man okay so how would I rate this game very highly. Very highly. There was definitely some annoyances. There were a couple of points that I was like, this was very unclear. I think there was... Was there one point I had to actually Google the answer to something? Oh, yeah, it's because it was that tar thing, right? Pretty early on. We'd been told that tar could make fires brighter, but we'd been told it one time, like, hours before. And then we had to use that to progress, and I just did not 
that had left my mind that that was an option, so I did have to look that one thing up. And there were a couple of other times I was like, this is not super clear. And obviously combat is still... There's, there are a few more options in the end. Early on there was not much, but by the end of the game there were a few more options in this game combat-wise compared to the original. But the combat itself was still like, eh, you know, I'd rather have less of it. <laughs> but, but, that being said... Oh wait, those were... Sorry, those were the performances we saw before. Were those... Oh, were those motion capture, maybe? Not the vo not the voice acting? Maybe... Ah, oh, that must be it. That must be it. When I, the, what, the one I see, saw before must have been motion capture, not voice acting. I was going to say, like, that seemed insane. So, yeah, okay. I got that wrong. I just saw names next to names, and I was like, wait, does that mean they play them? But it must have been motion capture. So, yeah. Um... But yeah, the those were those are like the negatives. So there were some, but the characters, fantastic. Amicia and Hugo's development and voicing and everything they went through was brilliant. They felt very true to their characters in the first one and like proper evolutions of them. I very much liked that Hugo like was aware of what was going on this time. We didn't just have to coddle him the entire game. And Amicia obviously went through a lot of development with like dealing with her anger and stuff, and that was really good. New characters, Arno really liked him, and Sophia really, really liked her. I'm so glad Sophia survived. I'm very sad about Arno, but he went out like a fucking champ. Very proud of him. And returning characters, Lucas, still love Lucas. We didn't get to spend a ton of time with him. I guess we spend more time with him than probably the other side characters, but it felt like it went by very quickly. But we did have the whole first few chapters of the game were with him, I guess. And I still do very much like him, and I'm very glad he survived. And it seems like he's traveling around learning more about alchemy now. And, uh, Mum and Mum, I mean, she's a returning character, but I've got it. She was definitely the one I cared about least overall. She was, like, kind of antagonistic, in a kind of antagonistic role for most of it. And then, yeah, she gets killed. And so I didn't, I didn't massively, ooh, hiccup. I didn't massively care about that. But, uh,. Yeah, it was, it was story beat-wise, it was good. And then, yeah, the story, like, those are the characters. The story itself, fantastic. Never knew where it was going to go next. Constant twists and turns. Some fantastic set pieces. I love the running away sections. Like, obviously, there's not that much to them in terms of gameplay mechanics. It's just run, basically. But vi what a visual feast they were. Always very tense, always just gorgeous to see. And, uh... Yeah, no, I really liked it. I really, really liked it. Shall we skip and see if there's any more? Oh, there is. Wait, is that Hugo's hand? Don't tell me he survived. What does that mean? Did he survive? Is that what that means? Somehow? I kind of hope he didn't. <laughs> Adventure completed. Orders crossbow. You've received a special paint for the crossbow. New game plus. New game. Special difficulty level. Okay, I kind of wish that last little stinger hadn't existed. Because that means there is going to be a Plague Tale 3, which I'm fine with. But it also means that I guess Hugo's still alive was definitely what I was hinting at there. And I really don't want him to be because that was such a powerful ending. And I really hope they don't just go, oh, fake out. Hey, he's alive. Hey, continuing on. So I kind of I kind of wish that last little stinger hadn't existed. Because I was, I was like fully like confirmed he is dead. That's it. Like they even did a year later with her at his grave. Like there's no way he's coming back. They have not pulled this punch. And I mean, it doesn't have to be him. She said she was going looking for other carriers and protectors, right? So it could be someone else. But the fact that they didn't show the face and they just did that, I mean, it makes it seem like he might still be alive. Which really feels like a cop-out after all that at the end. So I really hope that's not the route they go. I really feel like that stinger kind of takes away from the ending. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Oh, well. We will see where they go. I mean, that definitely sounds... That, like, they wouldn't put that stinger there unless they were planning on making a third one, right? So, I guess we will see. But, yeah, overall, really, really enjoyed the game. Better than the first one. I think I gave... Did I give the first one, like, an 8? 
If I gave the first one an 8, then I'm giving this a 9. Really, really enjoyable. Fantastic experience. Highly recommend. And yeah, I guess we will see where we go from here in the next one in four years or however long. Thank you very much for coming with me on this journey. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. If you have, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do here, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel, the buying of new games, launch, all that jazz. I would massively appreciate any help there. And yeah, that is it for now. So I will see you somewhere else for something new. Thanks for watching. See you then.